Hi everyone. Um, I literally just got out of bed and uh, it's Monday morning. I got up early because I woke up early. But um, I I wanted to make a video all weekend. I had time, but I couldn't. Uh, I was quite agitated all weekend. Like I've got time. I couldn't decide what topic. Even like from Friday afternoon, like. Friday afternoon, Saturday, Sunday, Sunday night, like, hey God, <laughs> I'd like to make a video, I've got time. And God was like, no, <laughs> I, I don't have anything for you right now, um, just take it easy. And it was really hard to do that. And it was, I was ag agitated all weekend uh, because of it. And I knew God was teaching me something and, it, you know, it was about rest really and um, allowing God to do what he wants to do with my channel and for me just to have faith in what I'm doing, uh, that He's he's got it. And if, if nothing comes, nothing, if I can't do a video, that's because... He didn't want me to. He didn't have anything for me because everything that I do on my channel has to come from him. Otherwise, I'm doing it in my own strength. And um, I woke up this morning, you know, wasn't very, feeling very good all weekend about this. But then I still, you know, by faith, I, I knew, I trusted that he was teaching me something and that I was, even though it wasn't fun, um, he was going to show me what he was doing uh, eventually. And yeah, so this morning I woke up and I heard a message, chat message from someone saying, um, talking about our rest in the tomb and, and we take all the expectation off ourselves and just um, wait on God um, and before I went to sleep last night I was reading Romans uh, 11 and 12 and um, yeah I, I want to encourage my fellow not just the YouTube channels um, but anyone all brothers and sisters really um, when we're in rest uh, everything we do is by faith and we wait for God to make the move. And whether you're just commenting on channels, encouraging people or you're encouraging people uh, in your own life, people around you, sorry, people around you or at work or wherever, um, whatever kind of um, building up of the body you're doing, um, it's all by faith and I just want to go through uh, end of Romans 11 and beginning of Romans 12. Oh, the depths of the riches of God. Sorry, I'm, <laughs> I'm literally just woken up so this is not going well. Oh, the depth, the depth of the riches, both of the wisdom and knowledge of God. How unsearchable are his judgments and his ways past finding out. Who hath known the mind of the Lord, or who hath been his counsellor, or who hath first given to him that it shall be recompensed again, recompensed unto him again? For of him and through him and to him are all things, to, to whom be glory for ever. Amen. So knowing that we can't give to God that he should give back to us, and knowing that... Um, all things are of him and through him and to him, then really we are totally at God's mercy. We are totally reliant on him. There's nothing we can do for him, give back to him or anything except wait on him and live by faith in everything we do. And that is preceded, that precedes directly this, um, this verse. Romans 12, 1. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that ye you present your bodies a living sacrifice, wholly acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. 
and I think this is the number one verse that every time um, no, 99% of Christians talk about it, um, God's up in heaven um, face palming because <laughs> everybody gets it wrong. Um, reasonable service does not mean, well, you know, you know, all the God's have done for you, it's not much to ask for you to get to work. You know, it's, it's a reasonable request. You can do it. That's not what it means. And I hope everybody understands that and remembers that because reasonable service, let's just have a quick look at the interlinear. Um, down at yeah, logikos is reasonable. It's really a bad translation, I think, to say reasonable. Um, pertaining to speech or speaking, pertaining to the reason or logic, spiritual, pertaining to the soul, agreeable to reason, following reason, reasonable, logical. Reasonable would have been a better word. No, sorry, not reasonable, that's the word they used. Reasoning, that I've done a video on this before. Um, it's, it's, it really means your thinking, reasoning service. Um, you've you've thought about it. You know you understand. Um, you, you're basing your understanding on on knowledge of of what Christ has done for you. You know you you know your death, burial, and resurrection with Christ. Um, you know who you are in Him. You you know that you are holy. You are acceptable unto God, and therefore. You know, we, we put to death our members um, by the Spirit. We walk in the Spirit. We cease labouring, cease work, and we present ourselves to God and say, here I am. Um, I know what you've done for me. I know who I am in you, and I am, I am, I am dead in Christ, and you have risen me to new life. And so anything that I can do is by you and through you Everything I have is of you and to, um, to you and, what was it again in 11? Um, of, it's of you, through you and to you. Um, I can do nothing of myself. So um, I know that you work, your spirit works in me to produce anything that's good and to do anything that you need me to do. And it's not me doing it, it's you doing it through me. So here I am, Lord, use me as you will. Um, and I understand, you know, this is my service. I'm doing it, uh, understanding all of that, um, all of what you've told me about myself and, and about yourself and how you work. Um, so it's not, it's not me paying back God and it's like a reasonable request from him. That's totally the... That's not. That's the co the current usage of the word, um, but I don't think that existed back then, or it certainly isn't in the biblical definition of the word reasonable. So it's better to say your your reasoning service, your logical thinking service. Um, so with that in mind, um, and be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. So uh, we're renewing our minds so that we can be discerning and approve of what God approves of. For I say, through the grace given unto me, that to every man that is among you, not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think, but to think soberly according to, as God has dealt to every man the measure of faith. So none of us is better than anyone else in the body of Christ. We are all um, members and God uses us how he will. And um, he's given us each a measure of faith and he uses us in different ways to do different things. And, and that doesn't make anyone more or less um, valuable or more or less um, 
important in the body of Christ. We are all doing our part. Whether you think you, you know, you might see someone with a channel is putting out videos every day and and think, oh, gee, I wish God, you know, that person must be highly favoured by God. And look at me, I'm just, I just watch channels and occasionally comment, and I don't feel part of this. And you know, God mustn't be pleased with me. Or, that's not that's not true. God has a purpose for you and he is using you in the way that he wants to use you and only you can do that because um, it's, it's what God created for you to do. The good works ordained from the foundation of the world for you to do. We all have our um, the good works that he's going to use us for um, and we're all members of the body. Um, and we do it by faith. For as many, oh, sorry, for as we have many members in one body, and all members have not the same office, so we, being many, are one body in Christ, and every one members of one another. Um, so we're not only, you know, our big, our, our job really is building up the body of Christ, and we're members of one another. So anything we do that encourages another brother that is the work of God and we do it by faith according to the measure that he's given us we have different roles and you know I see that we you know the, the people that I um, talk to everybody's unique everybody has their own role and you know you can't say anyone is better than anyone else because like I can't do what that person does, they can't do what I do. You know, it's it's all unique. Um, uh, having, sorry, having then gifts differing according to the grace that is given to us, whether prophecy, let us prophesy according to the proportion of faith, or ministry, let us wait on our ministering, or he that teacheth on teaching, or he that exhorteth on exhortation, he that giveth, let him do it with simplicity. He that ruleth with diligence. He that showeth mercy with cheerfulness. Um, they kind of, if you can see in the King James here, they've put in a few little phrases in italics. Um, let us prophesy, let us wait on our, on our ministering. Uh, so in the Greek, it's just like in verse 7, or ministry, ministering, or he that teacheth, on teaching um, and I think they've you know the different translations put different little bits in because in the Greek all you've got is is uh, a few words and they've kind of bulked it up to make it make more sense in English but um, I think it's based on verse 6 so you prophesy according to the prof proportion of your faith um, and so you, each of the following is whatever you do, it's according to the proportion of your faith. So you minister according to the proportion of your faith. You teach according to the proportion of your faith. Um, you exhort according to the proportion of your faith and so on. Um, so it really is all about uh, faith. We rest in the tomb. Um, our fleshy man just has to lay there and we have to, by the Spirit, mortify the deeds of that of that flesh body that wants to get to work. Like all weekend I could feel my flesh going, come on, isn't this what we do? Don't we make videos, especially when we've got time? Like during the week I don't have so much time so I don't make so many videos, but it's like the weekend is my time. Uh, so, you know, there's just this battle going on between uh, my spirit and my flesh and it's like, my, my spirit has to lead by, you know, this, the, the Spirit of God. I'm led by the Spirit of God. And so my spirit knows when there's something to do and when there's not. But my flesh is like, but, you know, people expect you to put out videos and you've got a reputation and, you know, maybe you could, if you put out more videos, your, your channel will grow and you'll get more attention and, you know. That's what flesh wants, um, but if I am to be led by God, I need to rest 
and wait on him. And that's really hard to do. And I think God needs to bring us through that every so often just to remind us. Like he could have you making videos every day, but then every so often you probably just need to stop because you think that maybe this is your normal and it's, it's you doing it. But he has to show you that it, it, it has to come from him. Otherwise, it's futile and there's nothing you can say. Um, anyway, I just wanted to encourage all of us uh, that we, everything we do is by faith and everything that everyone does by faith, whether it looks big and fancy and, and important or not, you are doing God's work and that is what is important. And the fact that you're doing it by faith, you're resting and waiting on him to do, to lead you, to lead you by his spirit. Um, that is what, that is what is important. All right, I hope that blesses you. Bye.